I've only got one app, so I don't really have to change here. We'll copy this and we'll do run now. And this is where in the demo, you just kind of hold your breath and hopefully you didn't make a mistake. <laughs> so as you see, I have the Facebook button there. If I click on it, it shouldn't work because I haven't configured Facebook. It should actually just error out and say the app ID doesn't exist because I actually haven't configured an app ID, the invalid app ID because I haven't configured it, right? Uh, and that's fine. So for this testing, I'd really just want to know does local accounts work because that's what I've configured up to this point. But it does have the button there, but we're not really worried about that. I can't really sign in because I don't have any accounts, so let's go ahead and do a sign up flow. It does have the send verification. You do have the ability to disable this feature, but actually it's kind of silly. Why would you want to disable, uh, disable the, the component from an end user case? But for testing, you can disable it. I do it at least when I want to do tons of testing and get past that verification point because already validated verification works. Let's go ahead and type in a name, put in the verification code. Now what's happened is it's stored a verification code. Um, it sends it out and it comes back, it validates it, and then of course accepted it. You get an error if it's the wrong one. You can resend the error. Let's go ahead and create. Once I create, it should be redirecting back to the application, which is jwt.ems, which it did, and then it'll spit out all the goodies that I told it to do. That was a successful test, so I can breathe a little bit better now. My lab actually at least creates accounts. But anytime I run these labs, I don't want to just create an account, but I also want to validate that I can sign in with that same account. And so let me copy this, this user object here. And for testing, I'll just copy it and I'll put the username here because I'll use, use that same here later. Uh, let's go ahead and close this down. Let's run it again. But this time I'm just going to do sign in. It's important because they're using different mechanics between sign in and sign up. And so you want to make sure you, you naturally test both, um, both directional. You can change business logic, which could break. Let's go ahead and see if I configure the app settings correctly. And as you can see, I did. So I can log in. All the information that I registered earlier is now being populated. 